All right, so stand up. And we're gonna start by doing some open the gates. You're just gonna bring one leg up, over, back over and down. Just getting used to opening up the hips with some control right here. Just keep switching. And one more. All right, now we're gonna cross the ankle over the knee and we're gonna do some squats. So this is just gonna stretch our glute and back up. You can hold onto something if you need for balance. All right, just keep switching. You're just gonna come down, little hold, back up. One more time, each side right here. And last one. All right, now you're gonna plant one leg, the other leg steps back nice and long and bring your hands down to the ground then right in between or right next to your foot. Let's scoot back so you can see my foot right there. All right, you sent me a message. I just gotta go look at it. Um, okay. Oh, somebody else in the waiting room. I'll let them in. Um, all right. All right, hey Alex, we're just in the warm up. We're down here in a low lunge with our hands down. And then we're gonna take a twist right here and back down. And then you're gonna sit back up, step up and switch. And now step back with the other leg. So it looks like this, nice and far. Hands come down right on the inside of the feet and then take that twist and back down. And then pick up the chest, press it up. Let's do the same thing one more time on each side. So guys, I'm um, still having problems with my music. I don't know why I can't share any music. I can hear right now, it says I'm sharing. Um, but as long as you guys can hear me, that's what matters. Go ahead and take a twist. And back down, up, switch, and go into the same thing on the other side, just follow along. Yeah, so if you guys want to take a moment and set up your music, maybe when we finish the warm up, there'll be a moment you guys can like um, put your own playlist open. And that way you can just play whatever you like. All right, now let's do some hamstring stretches. One leg forward, scoop up with the arms and do a little arm circle at the top, switch legs. One leg in front, that leg stays straight, toe up and reach for that side. And keep switching, just coming down nice and easy, stretching down the back of the leg. All right, last side. All right, and now we're gonna hinge at the hips. We're gonna do some inchworms. So you hinge at the hips, keep your legs straight, but if you need to, you can bend them a little so you can reach. And then we're just gonna do some baby steps with our hands, walking out one arm at a time, all the way into plank. And then back up again, one arm at a time, baby steps, keeping our legs straight until you need to bend them. Reach up and then we do it again, another inchworm. This is gonna really prep our body for the workout today. Super important to do these warm ups. All right, and then one more. All right, really feel that stretch in the shoulders and stand up after the last one. All right, that was our warm up. So um, if you wanna take a moment to set up music, if you would like to have that, or um, if not, take a moment to stretch anything else that you need while I'm explaining what we're doing. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do 30 second intervals, but the first interval is gonna be like a dynamic movement. Second interval is just gonna be a hold. So we're gonna hold like a challenging position and see how that really like keeps our heart rate up. Um, yeah, and then the next 30 seconds will be rest and then we'll switch moves. So um, this is what the first move, it's, it's a squat. So um, we're sending our hips back and down, just like this. And if you wanna pick it up, it is hit, you can take a jump right here for 30 seconds. But if you do not want to jump, you're just doing a bodyweight squat. And then the hold for that would just be holding the bottom of the squat. That's where all the tension is. So you're gonna really try and like stay active in that hold. Second move is gonna be a push up. We're gonna drop down to the ground. Do your push ups however you'd like. If you wanna go for a challenge, the hold's gonna be at the bottom. 
if you want it slightly easier, the hole's going to be at the top, which would basically just be a plank. And then we're going to stand up again for some leg work. It's lunges. We got to lunge with a knee drive. Step back into your lunge, drive the knee up. The goal is to be explosive as we come up. And then our hold is going to be a lunge hold right there. Again, at the bottom, that's an active or breath. We'll do the other side, same thing. And then the last move in the circuit is going to be a crab tap. So like you're doing a crab walk, like when you were a kid in gym class right here, but we just tap opposite arm to opposite leg right here, pulling our leg up with the core and staying real active. So we're not trying to sink down. We're really strong. And then the hold would be a table pose hold. So pressing our hips all the way up and squeezing right there, that would be our hold. So 30 seconds of the move, 30 seconds of the hold, 30 seconds rest. And we're gonna do it circuit style, going through all the moves for three rounds total. So I hope everything makes sense. Do you guys have any questions or are you good to go? Thumbs up if you're good to go or just send me a message. Um, Great. All right, let's get started and stand up. Remember, we're going to be starting with a squat. So timer's going. It's going to go off in 10 seconds. Squat, squat, jump, anything, variation you guys want to do. All right, three, two, one, and go. That's it. So if you are jumping, you're landing soft and you're being powerful with those arms and leaning softly. But if jumps are not for you today, no worries. Just focus on that good squat form right here. Whatever level you're at is good, or however much energy you have is fine. Um, in 10 seconds, when I count you down, we're going for that hold. So try and hold it right at the bottom if you can. That's the hard part. Three, two, one, and hold. Right here, 30 second hold. So the trick is to go low enough that it's challenging, but high enough, we're not just sinking and resting like a stretch. We're being active. So like dig those heels into the ground, create some tension in your body, keep the tension back into your glutes, heels, making contact with the ground, super important. Three, two, one, stand up. All right, we got 30 seconds off. So you should feel kind of out of breath right now. If not, maybe pick it up during that dynamic move to make you really tired for that 30 seconds. And then you just kind of hold it out for the, um, for the hold you feel all that tension building. All right, so we're down on the ground. We got push-ups next. You can do them on your knees. You can do them on the wall. You can do them on your toes. I don't care. Just do some push-ups. Keep a flat back. Five seconds. Get down to the ground. Get ready. Three, two, one. Go down and up. Good. Focus on quality and then get those reps in. All right, 10 more seconds right here. I'll count you down when the hold comes. Remember, two options for the hold. You can hold at the bottom part of the push-up or you can hold at the top. Three, two, one, go. All right, this is what it looks like to hold at the bottom. Right here, you're staying active. This is really gonna be feeling in your chest, a ton, your core, your shoulders, all that stuff. It's gonna be really intense. Good, so really pick Pick yourself up. Don't sink into the ground here. Don't let your hips droop. You're nice and tight. And you can also hold it at the top of the movement right there into a plank. Tons of options. Three, two, one, drop. 30 seconds off. All right, we did the lower body, upper body, back to lower body. So stand up. We got lunges next. So remember, you're stepping back and then you're shooting up with a knee drive. Try and be explosive and then you come back down. You're gonna stay on the same leg for this whole minute. So pick your leg, plant it into the ground, and then we'll step back with the opposite leg in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Back, and then up, knee drive. Back with control, press up, dig the front leg into the ground, press it away strong. Front leg, keep the contact in the heel and the toe. Don't let that heel come up. Back leg, you're just up on the ball of the foot. That's it, keep it up. We're almost there, then we're gonna hold the low lunge position. Three, two, one, nice and low, hold. So you 
you're low with the legs, pick up that chest, brace the core, you're square over that foot, feet on two different train tracks, and my back knee is hovering real close to the ground, not touching it, because then I would be resting, but just hovering it enough, just a few inches, get it low, dig that heel into the ground, feel that tension building in your legs, we're almost there, can you squeeze your glute right here, pick up that chest, three, two, one, step it up, nice. All right, 30 seconds off. You know the drill by now. We're going to do the other side. Same thing on the other leg coming up. Good. 15 more seconds of rest. Plenty of time. All right, guys. Five seconds. Get ready. Other leg. Plant to the ground. Step back in three, two, one. Back and then up. You know the drill. How quick can you get that leg up? It's like a sprinter start and then you're off. Real explosive. It's slow down, quick up, snapping up like a spring. Good. This is our time to push it. This is the dynamic move. This is when we go for speed. We go for tension next. So this is when our heart rate rises right here. And three, two, one. Now step the back leg back and sink down nice and low. Good. And this is just a little extra burst here just for that tension. Good, keep the weight in your front leg. So if you're wobbling, brace your core, make sure your weight is shifted forward into the front leg. And we're almost there, so push it out. Can you get that leg a little bit lower? Three, two, one, step it up. Okay. Done with that, we got our last move in the circuit. It's the crab tap. So I like my fingers pointed out outwards for this one. And we're gonna bring our chest out, shoulders away from the ears, bring the feet into the ground, nice and strongly planted. And we're just gonna push our hips up and tap opposite hand to opposite leg. So try and get your arm to your shin. That's gonna be a bit more than like knee to elbow would be a little bit less. Three. Two, one, go. Up and down, switch. So this is working a ton. Our triceps working in the arms, glutes and the legs to hold us up. And then our core, if you're noticing, you're doing like a crunch right here. So like I said, if you just bring your elbow to your knee, that's fine, but it's a little less of a twist than if you bring your arm all the way to your shin. And that's just gonna give you more range of motion in that crunch. All right, hold the table pose in three, two, one. Drop the hands, drop the feet, press the glutes up all the way. You're strong table here. So can you get your body nice and flat so you can pitch stuff on it and it won't slide off. Active in the arms, don't lock them out. And then press the feet and hands into the ground to get their hips towards the ceiling, bracing the glutes. Almost there, three, two, one, release, nice and slow, good. That was one round. Still keeping it 30 seconds rest, and then we're gonna go right up to the top with the squats. So you got 20 seconds more rest. Grab some quick water if you need it, real quick. All right, stand up. Squats or squat jumps, let's go. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one, let's go. Right into those squats. Good. I think of the first move as strong, explosive speed. Now, if you want to add some intensity, but maybe you don't want to jump, you can always go to that non jumping version I show you guys that's back, and then you just explode up onto the toes and then back down. So it's really about the hips in that one back, forward, and then you hold at the top, and you're still trying to like spring up as quick as you can. All right, we got a squat hold in three, two, one, down, hold. It's all about staying active in this. Can you pick your chest up a little bit? Brace the core, squeeze those glutes. That's it. Now just keep it up for another 15 seconds. We're halfway through that hold. You got this. If it gets too much, you can straighten the legs a little bit. That's going to take off some intensity. Five, four, three, two, one, stand up. All right, 
take a rest here. We start off strong on that one. Push-ups next. All right, lots of push-up variations, don't forget. If you need to elevate your hands for some assistance, that's fine, whatever variation works for you. I'm gonna be just be doing them on the floor. All right, so we got five seconds. If you're not on the ground, get on the ground. Let's do some push-ups. Tuck those glutes, three, two, one, go. Good, keep it up, straight down, straight up. Push that ground away strong every time. Get the reps in right here. You got five more seconds. Three, two, one, and hold. Remember, it can be at the bottom, and I'm gonna demonstrate at the top right here, which is basically just a plank. And if you're on your knees, you can choose if you wanna pop up onto your toes for that hold, if you'd like. Good, can you keep your back flat no matter what position you're in, high or low? And the core is braced, let's go. Let's hold it out for three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and drop. And we have that break as we stand up, we're going to lunges next. Nice, bringing our heart rate up and down today. This is our recovery time, so we can really go all out during those working intervals. All right, five seconds. Let's go. Pick your leg. We're going to step back with one leg. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lunges. All right, so we're a little bit explosive already. I'm going to give you guys an option. If you want to pick it up even more, feel free to come back. Add in a little hop right at the top. Just a little hop. You come up to your toe. Triple extension. Extending at the ankle equal knee hip that is your option okay if not stick with the knee drive that's fine too but just give me the option if you want to take it either way you're going to hold in three two and one hold it out all right so just like i said before with the squats if it gets too much you can straighten for a second and then come back down because the high part if you hold up here it's going to be easier than if you're holding it down here so if you want that intensity check your knee is it just a few inches above the ground because that's where you're going to get the most like firing up of that leg to work all right almost there come on breathe three two one Woo. all right we did one leg let's do the other nice breathe it out heart rate went up on that one we let it come down and then we do it again all right, 10 seconds, switching legs. Remember that option. You can hop or stick with the knee drive. It is up to you. Whatever gets you that good workout. Three, two, one, go. And if you're hopping, you calm down, push in your fall. So don't land with a, flat, with a straight leg. You jump and come right back down. Nice and light on that foot. You shouldn't be making a lot of sound. Should be soft and quiet even if you're jumping five more seconds we got that hold coming up let's get ready three two one and right down nice feel it in the front of the leg the glutes the hamstring really braced Good, push it out. If you need, straighten the leg for a second and try and minimize that rest time in this. The goal is to try and hold it for the whole 30 seconds, but if you can, it's okay. And four, three, two, one. Step it up. All right, last one in the circuit is next. It's the crab taps. Crab position, tapping opposite arm to opposite leg. All right, five more seconds. Get down to the ground. Bring those feet in nice and flat. Three, two, one. Press the hips up. Reach 
and go. Every time you shift the weight into one leg as you pick up the other, you really make that leg and arm work to keep you up. And when you get comfortable, you can add that speed if you'd like. Come on, push it out right here. Almost to that table hold. Get ready. It's coming up. Three, two, one. Press the hips up. Squeeze the glutes. Get them all the way up in line with the knees and shoulders and all that. We don't want to be bent in the middle. Really up high. All right, breathe. Stay with it. Almost there. Three, two, one, and release. All right, two rounds done. Let's hit all of those one more time, and then we're going to be done with that circuit, and we're going to move into some other stuff that we have planned, which is just a few supersets. Nothing too bad. This is going to be the bulk of the workout right here, this circuit. So when we get through this, we're almost done. All right, stand up. Let's do the squat. Let's knock out this last round. Come on, this is the best round. This is when we push right here. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat jumps or squats or whatever variation you want. Just get that heart rate up in whatever way feels good. What's good squat form? If you're jumping, you're landing soft. Again, you shouldn't be making much noise. Exploding up. Nice, come on, right here, keep going. All right, get ready for that hold. It's coming up. Three, two, and one. Nice and low. So we're trying not to go like this and keep the hips up. If you notice yourself doing that, shift the weight back, chest up, hips down. Nice, push it out here. This is the last time we gotta do this, so make it count. Come on, your last time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, shake it out if your legs are burning like mine. <laughs> All right, we got push-ups next. One down. Four more to go. All right, you got 15 seconds, plenty of time. All right, get ready. Shoulders over hands. Set the feet out. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds. Quality push-ups, you got this, let's do it. Halfway there, stay strong. How many more can you get in? Last push-ups of the day. Your last chance to get them in, come on. Three, two, one, and hold. Hold it at the bottom if you need an extra challenge or at the top, um, which is still going to be really good and beneficial holding that plank. Can you screw your hands into the floor? Activate the lats a little bit. Screwing them outwards. Keeping that back nice and flat, hips tucked. Almost there. Three, two, one. Good work, guys. Push it back. All right, we just got lunges, crab tops to go in the circuit. Nice. 20 more seconds rest. As always, you got two options here. If you want to try that jump, it's your last chance, chance to try it out. But if you're good with just the knee drive, then stay there. All right, three, two, one, and go. Come on, this is the time where we get our heart rate up. This one right here. How quick can you come up from that bottom position? You can go down with control and then explode up and forward. That's it, come on, halfway there. Stepping back far. Really putting the weight into your front leg. All right, you guys ready for the hold? Let's go. Three, two, one. Get down and go. Come on, how low can you get that knee? 
knee. Can you get it just a few inches above the ground? Knee in line with the toe. So your knee should be pointed in the same direction as the toe. Pick that chest up. If it's dropping, brace the core. You should not get any back pain right here. It should be all legs. Your legs should be burning right now. All right, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Other side in 30 seconds, take your rest. Nice, 10 more seconds rest. And then let's do this other side. Make sure you switch legs. All right, get ready, stand up, let's go. Three, two, one, right into it. Come on, right here. Push it for this next 30 seconds. Focus on exploding up. Drive that knee in quick. Big steps back. Pressing the ground away with the front leg, exploding forward. That's it. You got this. Almost there. The hold is coming up. I'll count you down and we're going to knock it out. Three, two, one. One down and go. Try and keep the same depth as you did for the other side. So if you were up here, you want to match that. If you were down here for the other leg, you got to stay down here for this leg or at least try. Come on, hold. Only 10 more seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Let's go. Make it good. Three, two, one. Press it up. Good job. We just got one more move in the circuit. Well, kind of two more moves, one more minute. Good, the focus, your um, hand should be right underneath the shoulders. Focus on really actively pressing the ground away so you're not locked, just nice and active, strong. All right, bring the feet in. We're going in six seconds. Get ready, let's do these crab taps. Come on, three, two, and one. Let's go. Really pick that leg up, drive it in. Come on, once you're getting comfortable, you can add that speed. Feel free to pick it up. If you're feeling yourself, don't hold back. Three. Two, one, now press those hips up to the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes and focus on that nice straight line, that nice straight table. Helps to dig the feet in, dig the hands in and you'll feel your hips rise. That's your glutes and hamstrings being engaged. Shoulders away from ears. Not like this, like a turtle, away. Good, hold it out. This is the last move in the circuit. We get a nice rest after this. And four, three, two, one, lower down. All right, good work guys, stretch it out if you need to. All right, so we made it through that circuit. That was the bulk of class. That was about 25 minutes of work. So we just got like 10 minutes about of work left. Um, from here on out, we're gonna keep the 30 second interval, but we're gonna make it super sets and we're not gonna do any more holds. Um, so we're just gonna do two moves, um, one after the other back to back, no rest in between. So when I count you down after the first move, you go right into the second move. And then we rest for 30 seconds after we do both. So for the first um, superset, the first move is going to be squat taps. So your feet are together and then you jump them out into a squat and then tap your hand down, back up and then out. It's kind of like you're doing hot scotch or something. Now the trick don't when you reach down, Try not to like round your back and reach. We want to keep the shoulders back and the back flat. So it'll look like this, a nice flat back. Arm comes straight down. So that's the first move. And if you like, you don't have to jump. You can always step it out, squat, step it in. You can always make the moves your own, totally fine. Um, but that is the first move. Second move, you're in a bear position, tabletop position. So right here, like we're doing cat cows, but elevating the knees, that's gonna engage your core. So keep those knees elevated. And then you press up to a downward dog. 
and then just drop the knees right back into that tabletop. But we're not letting the knees touch the ground if you can. We're trying to keep them elevated because that's where the work comes in. Just keeping them so they're just like a few inches above the ground, as low as possible without actually touching. So that's it, 30 second squat taps right into 30 seconds of the tabletop to down dog combo. 30 seconds rest, three rounds. All right, any questions, let me know. If not, let's do it. You got 10 seconds, hopefully fully rested after my long explanation. Um, so squat taps in four, three, two, one, go. Out, tap, back in, and right here. So find that rhythm. And everything that goes with a good squat form, keep it. So hips coming back, like they're gonna touch a chair behind you, knees driving out wide. This is for the legs and getting the heart rate up. All right, now when I count you down, you're coming down to the ground, tabletop position in five seconds. Get ready, four, three, all right, make your way down, two, one, stack the shoulders over the hands, press up the knees, and you're just gonna press the hips up, straighten the legs. And then shift slowly back down into the tabletop. Don't let the knees touch. And then press it up again. Big extension of that back and shoulders. And shift back down. Feel the tension grow in your legs, your core. And then back up. So that's the move. Just really take your time, nice and slow, keeping the back flat. Three, two, one, release. 30 seconds off right here. So we rest after they're both done. So that was it. In 20 seconds, we'll do it over again. All right, round two, we're about to get right back into it. Short rest, I know you can do it. All right, stand up, five seconds. Come on, squat taps, three, two, one, let's go. That's it. They're kind of fun if you don't overthink it. Just tell yourself this is fun. You're playing hopscotch. Woo, let's do it, guys. 15 more seconds. You know the drill. When I count you down, straight to the ground. Get there as quick as you can, right into that tabletop position. Flat back. We're shifting down dog. All right, I'm going to count you down. Four, three, two, one. Elevate, brace the core, neutral spine, and go. So what I mean by neutral spine is it's like a totally straight line. We're not arched like a um, cow or um, making a C like we're a Halloween cat. It's nice and flat because we're bracing our core real tight. Good, we can rest in five seconds. Build that tension. Three, two, one. All right, rest here. Already two rounds in. The rounds go by super quick once we cut it down to only two moves. So we're already done two rounds. We're about to hit the third and that's gonna be the last round. All right, stand up. Let's do it. Last round in five seconds. Get there, let's go. Come on, you got this one. Three, two, one, go. Good, feet wide, feet together, and they just tap together. Right back out, find that rhythm. Reaching down by getting low with the legs, keep the back straight. All right, 10 more seconds, almost there. Get ready to switch. Three, two, one, and switch, let's go. Downward dog, really press those hips back. And then we let the knees just hover as low as you can get them. And then back up. Full body. This is working our quads, our core, shoulders, back. And getting our heart rate up at the same time. Lots of benefits. So can you keep it up for five more seconds? We're almost there. Three, two, and one, release. All right, take a nice rest. We've got one more superset. So the two moves. First up, we've got overhead slams. Feet are wide. 
And then we tap down like we're doing those uh, squat taps, but instead of jumping, we just come up and bring our arms around and back down. So I'm doing this in slow motion right now, which you can totally do, but ideally you wanna come up from the bottom and snap up, swing the arms around, come down. Arms are straight. So from the side, it looks like this. Swing the arms around, it's gonna engage your obliques. And that's the first move. Second move, we're gonna come down to the ground and we're gonna do cross body mountain climber. So, you know, a typical mountain climber, knee to chest, it's knee to opposite elbow. If you can, it's a challenge, I know. If you can't, drop to your knees and just bring the knees out to the side to the closer elbow. All right, hope that makes sense. This will be our last thing of the day. We're gonna get through as many rounds as we can. And yeah, so first move is those overhead around the world slam, stand up, be wide, chest up, core brace, let's go. Three, two, one, go, tap down, swing the arms around, over, back down, hips come back and down. So your hands tapping right in between your feet, swing it overhead. Now I call these overhead slams. You can kind of imagine if you're holding a medicine ball and you're picking it up and slamming it down, pick it up, slam it down. So it's really about generating that explosiveness, even without any weight or anything. Then we're down to the ground. Three, two, one, plank position. If you're on the knees, they're coming out wide. If you're on the toes, we're coming to the opposite elbow. Let's go. And if you'd like, you can pick up the speed. Ten more seconds. Come on, right here. You got it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Good job, guys. 30 seconds off. Right here. Take your rest. All right, so we're gonna do only two rounds of this one. So this next round will be our last minute of work. 60 seconds, let's go all out for it. Stand up, cause it's about to start in four, three, two, one. Let's go down and over. Nice, keep it up, keep going. Um, all right, we got 15 more seconds. Stay strong, come on, get those slams in. Can you be explosive? Can you shoot up and slam that ball down? All right, coming up, we got those cross body mountain climbers. Into plank position. I'll count you down, three, two, one, and go. Whatever you get there, go. You can go across, or if you're on your knees, remember, just try and bring them to the outside elbow. And that's really gonna make you engage your core to get that knee up. All right, so choose the option that works for you because we only got 12 more seconds. So whatever you can do in 12 seconds, that's all we got time for today. So let's finish up right here. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop down, take a nice child's pose. Nice and long. Breathe, bring that heart rate down and just relax in this pose for a second. All right, slowly press up. We're gonna bring the hands underneath the shoulders and we're gonna go into a cat pose. Spread the shoulder blades, tuck the chin, belly button, the spine, and feel that stretch in between your shoulder blades. All right, come up, one leg forward, low lunge, and shift forward, walk the leg forward till you feel a stretch in your hip flexor. So that back leg right in front of the hip bone. It's where you wanna feel it. If you don't feel it, you're pushing the hip farther, walking the foot out, maybe coming up a little more and squaring the hips. Play around until you feel that release. Really important we stretch them. We work them a ton. So showing them some love here. All right, now straighten the front leg. Your hips are gonna shift back. And we're gonna lean forward. Nice breathe as you stretch out that hamstring. All 
All right, come on up slowly, back leg comes to meet the other, and then the other leg forward. Shift your weight forward, find that nice hip flexor release. All right, shift the hips back, straighten the front leg. And reach forward. We're stretching out the back of that leg. Take your time, hinging at the hips. All right, slowly straighten it. We're gonna step up. We're gonna bring the feet wide. We're gonna take a wide legged forward fold. So just send the hips back slowly. Until you find that point. So you can really just release everything. Let the neck hang. And maybe if your hands can touch your ankles or your feet, you can kind of grab them and use them to pull you a little bit lower. Good. Holding this position right in the center. And then let's walk our hands over to one leg. And then our hips are going to shift to the other opposite side. So we're just bringing ourselves folding closer over to that leg which is gonna give us a nice stretch at an angle, kind of like the inner part of the thigh there. All right, now walk your hands slowly to the other side. As you do that, your hips send in the opposite direction. All right, slowly back to center and let's round up one vertebrae at a time, starting at the hips. Slowly coming up. And then when you reach the top, do a few shoulder rolls right here, pushing them down. And then we're gonna um, grab, we're gonna bring the feet together and then grab one leg, hold it back behind you and nice stretch of the thighs. If you need to hold something for balance, go stand near a wall or something. All right, release that leg, grab the other one and stretch the opposite quadriceps. All right, drop the leg and then gently press on the side of your head and we're gonna bring it down at an angle. So you're stretching the back of your neck there, kind of where your neck connects to your back and then slowly roll it across the chest. So you reach the other side, gently press on that neck there and then bring it up, reach overhead nice and long. Imagine you're holding on to some balloons, all right? And then the balloons start lifting you up, spreading you out taller, all of your vertebrae, taller towards the ceiling until eventually you're on your toes, they're lifting you up and then you can't hold on anymore and they float away, let it go, you come back down. Nice little full body stretch to finish it out. All right, that's it for today. We just finished.